Shit. boy. Hey, good deal. What's going on guys? Welcome to another AM Crew Vlog. Today we are testing our one rep max on the Z-Press. Well, some of us are testing our one rep max. Some of us are doing three rep maxes. Some of us are doing five rep maxes. But the Z-Press is an amazing exercise. We're gonna break down some things to think about as you're doing the Z-Press and why, in my opinion, the Z-Press is one of the best exercises grapplers, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu athletes should be using to get stronger so they can win more matches and get injured less. On the topic of winning more matches and getting injured less, I have a free four week strength program that I wanna send you. It's 2022 and my goal for this year is to help 1,000 grappling athletes win more matches and get injured less. So I have a free strength program that I'd like to plug for you. You guys can click the link in the description below. There's no strings attached. You can just download it for free and be on your way. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the training session. So two things that I see most athletes get wrong with the floor press is that they don't dial in the start position and then as they're pressing, they press out in front. And sometimes if you're pressing out in front, that is because your start position isn't set in the, in the correct way. And that could also lead to some other issues uh, where you miss weights or especially the kind of the worst thing that could happen is you actually injure your shoulders. So when it comes to your start position, when you're getting set in the Z press, you wanna make sure that you have an even grip on the bar. Sometimes you just get real fired up and we just ah, we just grab it and your grip can be kind of off centered and that's, that's no bueno, right? So you wanna make sure that your grip is set, your grip is even. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my back as tight as I can by pulling my shoulder blades together. So imagine like these are my two shoulder blades. I'm trying to pinch them together as tight as I can as I'm getting set. And when I have this strong, tight upper back position, this is gonna allow me to have a much stable foundation to press from. So I'm here, squeezing my upper back tight, and then the last thing to dial in your setup is to get your elbows in front of the bar. You don't want your elbows to be back behind because when you press with your elbows back behind, the bar is gonna travel forward. We don't want the bar to travel forward. We want the bar to travel straight up over our head. So really make sure that you fight to Get your elbows underneath just like this, making sure that we don't have this weak wrist position. We're squeezing the bar tight, elbows in front, and then we're able to press straight overhead. Now, the second thing that a lot of people get wrong and it can lead to some injuries is they press out in front when the weight gets hard. So they're here and then it starts to get a little bit difficult. So they go, and even just messing around like that with an empty bar hurts my shoulders super bad. Um, but what you want to think about is when you're straining against big weights on the Z press, you'll hear us, especially when people are going for their top sets, as we're screaming at them like, back over your head, back over your head, back over your head. And the reason being is because if someone's doing a Z press and they're straining and the weight gets up here, we want them to focus on pressing back over their head so that they can have a vertical bar path, their wrist, elbow, shoulder, hips, and spine are all in alignment, which gives them the strongest position to be able to support that weight overhead. So in review, two tips to fix your Z press and dial in your setup, making sure that you're getting your upper back really tight. Your elbows are in front of the bar. You have a nice, strong, even grip on the barbell. And then when you're pressing overhead, if you start to feel like it's creeping out in front, remember, press back over your head all the way through to the lockout. Just finished up the last day, kind of the last day 
of this testing phase that we're in. We're testing all these different movements and really pushing to hit some big records on these exercises. That way we can start 2022 strong on a good note and can progress off of those lifts. We did the Z press today. Your boy did okay on the uh, Z press. Uh, I was able to win the work, if you want to call it that, win the workout for today. Hit 140 pounds for the heaviest single of the group. Uh, Kevin was right behind me with 135, I think, or maybe it was, he did 130. Uh, Eric did 135. I thought Eric was going to smoke me. As soon as he did that first set, bro, I was so scared. Like His last set, our last warm-up, we took the same weight, and he made his look so easy, and it moved so fast. I was like, oh, no, like I'm in danger, like that Simpsons meme. So then after that, we uh, tested broad jump. Kevin just smoked us all in the broad jump, doing a, an eight foot six inch broad jump for someone that's not a like pro football player or a track athlete. We just do jujitsu. Kevin is a former baseball player, but still that is super impressive for him to get that on the broad jump. And then Kevin um, also holds the record for the seal rope at 210 pounds at about a 175 body weight. And Eric challenged him on that record today. Uh, Eric did an amazing job but he wasn't able to break over uh, that 200 pound barrier. He uh, finished today with a 195 pound single. So all that being said, we have all these different metrics and all these different numbers and it creates some good healthy competitiveness within the AM crew. And now that we're starting the year strong with all these numbers in mind, we're gonna be able to build off of these numbers going forward. We're gonna be able to track these things, make sure like, hey, did you make improvements in your Zercher box squat? Did you make improvements in your sumo deadlift, in your floor press, in your uh, max power output on the ski erg or the concept two rower? All of these metrics are very important data points for us to look at when it comes to making sure that we're making improvements in the gym that are actually gonna to translate to us making improvements on the mat as well. Speaking of making improvements on the mat, in the gym, and on the mat, I have a free four-week strength program that I'd love to send you guys. All you need to do is just click the link in the description below. There's no strings attached or anything. You just click the link below, download that for free, and be on your merry way. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh Selich. You guys can follow me on Instagram, at Joshua Selich, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.